Very glad to know you're still with us. Now, it seems the launching of Western Nigerian Security Network, codenamed Operation Amotekun, by the Southwest governors to help secure the region from security threats might pave the way for a regional security system. As Plata State Governor Simon Lalong has disclosed that a similar security for the North will soon be unveiled. However, Anambra and Enugu state governments have deferred on the possibility. The Anambra state government says they were satisfied with the security measures they've put in place, while for Enugu state, they are happy to implement any arrangement for security in the southeast. I still have my guests with me in the studio. Thank you very much, gentlemen, for staying with us. Thank you very much. Is Amoteku the beginning of regional Secu independent security outfits. Uh, Operation Amotekun. It's as far as from what I've uh, from what I've uh, gathered, it's just a it's just a, a measure to cope with recent uh, uh, challenges in the re in the southwest region, and it's an initiative of down uh, the uh, development agenda for Western Nigeria, which is just a a, a regional block to ensure that security. Of lives and properties in the western in the western region is something is something is, uh, uh, is is improved because we have a situation in in the past few years where, for example, in May 2000, in May 2019, there were uh, about 169 instances of in incidents of uh, of insecurity, uh, violence uh, violence in the western region in the western in, in the six. Geopolitical in in the, uh, in the six states of the western uh, western uh, western region uh, uh, southwest sorry, and in a, in, a, in a situation where you have one federal government, seven hundred seventy four local government, thirty six states with that degree of insecurity is unacceptable. That means that our police is uh, maybe pro is, is probably uh, is probably coping with new challenges, and that is why this operation Amoteko is just a, 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 a an initiative that. Support community policing, which I think is a, is a step in the right direction. There are those who are saying that it might be a way to sneakily bring on the conversation on restructuring. Because when we begin to have regional uh, security outfits, apart from the police uh, that we have, even though they say they are not going to have uh, carry arms, what do you make of that uh, conspiracy theory? I, I don't share that sentiment at all because by the constitution, governors are supposed to be chief security officers of the state. And this Operation Amoteco is actually is an interstate uh, uh, initiative, border patrol, uh, uh, instances, uh, intelligence to help police in intelligence gathering because most of these uh, incidents of violence actually take place in the rural areas, most of which, uh, most of which are inaccessible even to the uh, police, uh, police force. So this Operation Amoteco is actually, a, uh, from what I uh, see in them is actually to help gather intelligence. It's not uh, what's it called, like the OPC. OPC is just a Congress, uh, Odua People's Congress. This one, there is a guarantee of institution of institutions provided for in the Constitution, which is uh, which, which are the governors of states uh, that are anchoring it. I think that's where, uh, maybe, maybe that should allay the fears of a, a lot of people in this area. Okay, I would like to get your thoughts on uh, if it is, um, you know, the beginning of a regional um, independent and security outfits in the regions. Um, and then on top of that, I'd like to get your view uh, to the unfolding scenario as we have it. Anambra and Enugu, that's in the southeast, deferring on whether they are going to pursue this line of action. And then up not, we have the chairman of the Northern Governors Forum coming up to say that they are working towards unveiling a similar initiative in the north. What does that say to you? Uh, uh, thank you. So, as a matter of fact, uh, the decision of uh, the uh, governors of the Southwest to come up with this uh, Operation Motorco is salutary, irrespective of whatever anybody thinks. For the governors, up not. We have uh, something similar to that already. We have the civilian GTF combating uh, Boko, Haram. Boko Haram under Section 214 and 215 of the Constitution. Yes, the police force is the only security outfit recognized by the law. However, under Section 14, subsection 2, paragraph B of the same Constitution, 
the state has a responsibility to provide security. security for the people. As a matter of fact, that is the essence, the major basis for government. Where a government fails to provide security, then that government is no longer a government. For the South uh, Eastern governors, I think they should collaborate. Uh, I could see the, some, some assemblers of arrogance on the part of uh, Anabra State government that uh, we have uh, conquered the security. If you conquer security, we think that Anabra has this. Of course, uh, criminals across the region, across the board, from other states, can sneak in. So there's nothing wrong. For example, you have the Lagos neighborhood uh, was caught already in existence and backed by law, duly passed by the State House of Assembly. Lagos State is still part of this uh, Amotekun arrangement. I understand they will dissolve this particular uh, uh, wash into that uh, Amotekun arrangement. Whatever it is, there is need for them to work symbolically. Now, you said whether uh, this uh, is a way of uh, bringing in state policing. State policy has since been uh, long overdue. This is a fantastic idea. And other regions across the Federation are encouraged to replicate same. Our government is too centralized. The, those who are interested in just power at the top will not be comfortable with this. Well, don't you have any worries about the setting up of this outfit? The day humanity will have a perfection, then humanity will come to an existence. If you are afraid that any innovative step will have its negative impact, and as such you will not take that step, then the world will not grow. There will be challenges. I will not have any challenges with the federal uh, police. Is that police not being abused by the federal uh, powers? There will be abuses. But we need strong institutions. The strong institution will check the madness of those who may want to abuse this regional area. Well, there is this argument put forward by those who, they say the police, uh, initially we heard that the, the IGP is in support, but during the launching, we did not see any police presence at that venue. And then we also know that the state government has come up um, I mean, not the government, the police there have come to warn against bearing of arms by these people. From where you are sitting now, don't you think that there doesn't seem to be the synergy? Because what we're told is that these people will be informants. They will help um, monitor the situation and help the police with their investigation. Well, Sustainability. Uh, I think that shouldn't be too, uh, too much of an issue because there, there seems to be this uh, distrust historically even between the police and local uh, vigilantes. vigilantes and th they, that's, that's not uh, something that should surprise us at this point anymore. Uh, but I think where the uh, police or uh, other security agencies may have issues is the bearing of arms. Uh, and the abuse of the use of arms by men, because as we saw in the case of uh, OPC in the past, where uh, where many of them actually attacked uh, police stations. I stay in Idiolo, very close to the where you know they were actually burnt the police station down. That led to the, that led to the, even the declaration of state of emergency by the Tinubu uh, administration in some parts of Lagos in 2002. You know those kind of things may worry, uh, in, but these arrangements, I think uh, the police should rather. Cooperate with the governors because the govern because this uh, uh, operation Amotekun is actually under the offices of the governors of the state. We who should be held responsible for anything that uh, may go wrong. It's not like the OPC, like I said in my opening uh, statement, it's not like the OPC of the past or the Besu uh, boys or the uh, what's it called, the one that was in the uh, southeast at the time that were, that really caused a lot of trouble. But this one is. Uh, is just these governors trying to be chief security officers in practice and in theory. Because what we have in, uh, in, uh, under the 1999 constitution just makes the governor chief security officer of their state in theory rather than in practice. All right, let's go back to uh, the Southeast and the drama that is unfolding. There are two, um, there is Ohanes in Dibo, and then we have the uh, prescribed uh, people, uh, indigenous people of Biafra. And they're, they're speaking up. Uh, Ndibo 
uh, Hanes Ndibo is in support of the move, and there are some that are suggesting that they might encourage the state governors in the southeast to do the same. However, IPOP has come up to say, uh, the PAF has come up to say that um, the state governors in the south is calling them all kinds of uh, derogatory names, that they stopped a similar move by the embattled leader, Namdi Kanu, uh, to create such a security outfit. Should that conversation be coming now? And if such an initiative was taken, why do you think it was pressed down? No, no, we must understand the, the templates. They are not one and the same. This idea of uh, Operation Meteco is a product of the conversation among the chief security officer of the sisters in the Southwest. That of uh, a pub, just an individual who had his own uh, agenda, rightly or wrongly, and of course the state was already uh, fully threatened, coming up with Biafra secret police. So they are not. They're not connected they at all. They're not connected at all. It's very, the, of course, you expected the pub leadership to say, wow, the governors were against us. But look at uh, Southwest, their support. Is this idea the idea of OPC? Definitely not. The governors felt challenged, and the death of uh, the leader yeah. of uh, Fenway's yes. daughter actually instigated this whole process. The governors, too, were getting very uncomfortable. It was reported that the own those state governor, uh, according to the SCN, was attacked when it was, uh, his comfort was attacked. So the circumstances around uh, prevailing at that time galvanized the governors, the chief security officer, to come up with this idea. Not just an individual who felt, of course, there is need for Biafra Nation. Uh, uh, you're, 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 you, you keep emphasizing the fact that these chief security officers came um, because, it, I mean, they had a meeting and they decided that they need to do more for yes, security yes, yes. in this country, which a lot of persons say is quite laudable. Yes. But these governors are transient. The maximum they can stay in power is eight years. Right. What are the plans, do you think? Let me bring the question to you, Olaliko. What are the plans, do you think, that there will be sustainability? I put that question to you earlier, but you sort of missed it sustainability of this project and ensuring that it does not become a tool in the hands of governors to settle personal scores. Oh, good. Uh, that's uh, the greatest fear of some of us, too, because this uh, Omoteko may be abused by the governors because we know the character of some governors during election, they tend to, they, they, they tend to abuse even state institutions, even the police. They tend to, that's a fear that we, we that and it's a legitimate one because of our history. However, this Amotekun is an idea of the six current uh, six governors of the South in partnership with Down, which has been in existence before all these governors even came to place. Do you understand what I'm trying to say? So the sustainability should not be the question now because it's as even barely started. So let's it's still largely at this experiment, uh, experiment, uh, experimental state now. So let's see how it goes, review it over time. And I, from what I even gathered, this Amoteko actually, they actually submitted an application to the National Se uh, Office of the National Security Advisor to look at it and see how it can fit into the national security architecture framework. So this kind of, is, let's review it maybe for subsequently, year, for and, subsequently see and see what okay. happens. what uh, happens. Barrister, your final thoughts, because I'm told we're out of time. Yes, uh, I encourage uh, all the six regions in the country to work in the same uh, direction because we are currently under police. We have about uh, 250,000 uh, 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 police officers policing over, over 200 two. million people. That, that's a contradiction in terms. In various streets, we have vigilantes. In various uh, communities, there are vigilantes. Lagos State has its own vigilantes. So there's nothing wrong in having a regional security office to protect the region. So those who are not comfortable with it should just give it a, a chance. There's no perfection humanity. There will be challenges, but we'll surely uh, scale through. There will be challenges, but we'll scale through. Thank you very much, gentlemen, for your thoughts on the program tonight. Thank, thank you very much. Yes, and of course, thank you for staying with us. We're not done yet, though. Or we'll go take our PLOS package. And uh, when we return, I'll be giving you my take to stay with us. Mm -hmm. 
The Nigerian Security and Civil Defense Corps, NACDC, has stressed the need for effective synergy between security agencies and the public. The commandant of the NACDC in Benue State, Kamilu Ado Isa, while soliciting the support and partnership of the traditional ruler of lobby in Benue State, Moses Anagbande, said there can be no effective security without their input. Ado urged the traditional council to partner with the NACDC, especially in the area of information sharing. For any security organization or the security architecture in the country in general to work, you need the traditional institution. Traditional institutions and religious leaders should never be ignored if we really want to succeed in in carving all the criminality that is going on in this country. We get close to them, we talk to them, we be, be friends to them, and definitely they will help greatly in carving the menace of criminality in Nigeria. If we visit the traditional ruler, we will visit the whole people. The issues of security, that you will talk about information, 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 it will be easy if you know the eminent sons and daughters of Benway State. So that even in their houses, if something's wrong, they will telephone and tell you that, oh, not directly you, but the, the course of this kind of meeting, you will know yourself. So here's my take tonight. In a country where we're still struggling with the payment of 30,000 naira minimum wage and pensioners who had served this country with their youth still go on queues to collect paltry amounts as low as 30,000 naira a month. Now, just oppose that with the millions doled out to governors who are already well off financially. It is unfair. So I would say big ups to the Zamfara state's legislation for repealing the obnoxious pension law, whatever their motives might be. I urge every state legislature, as our guests have submitted tonight, to muster the Zamfara courage and begin the process to review the laws that govern the pensions of high office holders with a view to aligning the provisions with the economic realities of their respective states. I repeat, align it with the economic realities of their respective states. We already live in a country where some are more equal than others. We must not rub it in with salt. It is too painful. It does no good for us as a people. Thank you for your time with us tonight. Do follow us on our various social media handles at Plus TV Africa and share your thoughts. I am on Twitter at Felicity underscore E. Until next time, please be well.